<clears throat> Yo, today is another adventure day. So, uh, yeah, gonna be going to Albuquerque, taking the train down to Albuquerque. Gonna ride down to Berlin. So it'll be like a 50, 50 mile ride. But, uh, yeah, this is the bike I'm gonna take. My Soma Double Cross. I think this one's from 2012. Got the basket set up, got all my crap in there, basically everything I could need. Not gonna carry anything on my back. Got my purple tires, some pan erasers, lots of tasteful stickers on there. Got a real solid bike. I carry my Ryko camera in there, GPS, GoPro is gonna go in the chalk bag. I got this Arundel handlebar bag, which is really killer. That's going to carry essentially everything else. So yeah, it's going to be another adventure day. I'm going to try to get about 50 miles in. So uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. busy road right here but essentially I'm just making my way to the Bosque Trail once I'm on the Bosque no more traffic nothing like that so yeah I'm gonna get to the Bosque um, I'm going to a restaurant called El Patio which is uh, should be like a tasty New Mexican restaurant I'm gonna have lunch with my parents I need to get there by 12 so I'm kind of uh, kind of hauling but yeah, finally made it to Albuquerque. Now I just gotta get through Albuquerque. All right, made it to the Bosque Trail. Yeah, all those trees over there, is cottonwoods. Really gorgeous trees. Probably some of my favorites. They just always look super gnarled and spooky. And I think traditionally they kind of grow in the floodplains. So they need like a lot of permanent still water to really flourish. But yeah, this is the Bosque Trail. I'm gonna ride this to that restaurant. All right, just had a good lunch. Back on the Bosque Trail. Still got all these cottonwoods around me. Yeah, now. I think I got about 40 something miles to get to Belen. Belen's like a tiny little community um, just south of Albuquerque. So yeah, hopefully I can get to Belen by 540. Uh, that's when the, uh, the that's when the train gets there. So yeah, I got about 40 miles, four hours. Um, Everything should work out. So yeah, let's just keep on moving. So we're still moving, still getting it. Um, now we're pretty healthily on the south side of Albuquerque. This, I believe, is the Hispano Chamber of Commerce. Um, pretty cool building. That's all like super Hispanic in there. So pretty cool. Um, I think I have like an Asakia or something right over here, just right behind me. Um, I've actually never cycled this area in Albuquerque before. So, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to kind of check everything out. It'll be really cool. So far, I've been liking it real quiet. Big old building. So, yeah, just going to keep on moving. Yeah, so we got some perfect weather today. It's actually not too cold. Tiny, tiny headwind, it's almost not even noticeable. Um, good light, everything's been really, really nice. Got a good bow. Damn. Got some nice purple tires. Yeah, so far a good ride. Um, so I think I'm almost at the end of this bike path. Whenever this bike path 
path ends, then I got to get on a, I think it's a frontage road. So I'll get on that frontage road and keep on going south. Um, so I'll be passing Isleta Pueblo, Las Lunas, and into Belen. So uh, yeah, just some small little communities uh, south of Albuquerque. Not too much going on in there. Hopefully they got some cool buildings I can get some good photos of. But yeah, so far a good ride. Definitely been enjoying it. Yo, so I made it to Isleta. So essentially from here on, there's gonna be no more bike paths. It's all just gonna be frontage road and little neighborhood roads to get around. So uh, not necessarily the worst thing. It's just I gotta watch out for cars now. But yeah, outside of Albuquerque, made it to Isleta. Still making good time. Um, I think I will get to Belen before that train gets there. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep on moving. Just gonna get to Belen. All right, so I'm on Broadway. It's just kind of like a crappy, busy street. A lot of traffic. Pretty good views though. County. I think this is still technically a Sleda, but um, yeah, I gotta stay on the main road. I was gonna take some side roads to kind of avoid all this traffic, but um, it's all Pueblo land. And I mean, like, the roads are open, but it says uh, travel residents only. So I'm just gonna respect that. So yeah, I'm just gonna stay on this road. Hopefully, before I know it, I'll be in Las Lunas. Then from Las Lunas, just a short little jog to Belen. So yeah, I just gotta keep going on this main busy road in the meantime. Hey, Lama. Yeah, I made it to uh, Bosque Farms, which is pretty cool. First couple miles, I was just kind of stuck on the sidewalk. And that sidewalk really sucks. However, the shoulder of the road is just tiny, tiny, tiny. Awful for cycling. But yeah, it seems like there's a, uh, a bike path that I found. I'm gonna take this as long as I can. And yeah, it seems like there's a lot less traffic over here as well. So yeah, just gonna get through Bosque Farms. Made it to Las Lunas. And so far, there's no bike path or anything, so I'm just kind of stuck on uh, the sidewalk, which really kind of blows. It's really loud, it's really smelly, and there's a lot of traffic. So, uh, yeah, excited to get out of here. So, I think I'm basically outside of uh, Las Lunas, kind of between Las Lunas and Belen. Um, I think essentially this road that I'm on, just some random frontage road, I think it's gonna take me all the way to Belen. So, actually not too, much, too sure how many more miles I have, give or take. Got a little bit over an hour and a half to get there. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna get there A-OK, -okay. no issue. Um, bike's been working good. Have a little bit of squeaking sometimes when I shift, but it's really not too terrible. Um, this road's not too bad either. Zero traffic. Does smell like cow crap, but I can live with that. So yeah, just gonna try to sprint to Belen whenever I get to that train station. I got some food I'm gonna eat that I'm kind of looking forward to. I'm not gonna eat now, just cause I wanna make sure I can get there in time. 
because essentially if I don't catch that 540 train, I gotta wait until about 750. So uh, that wouldn't be super cool because it has been getting pretty cold at night. So yeah, I don't wanna, I don't wanna freeze my ass off. So yeah, I'm just gonna sprint Tubal in. Um, hopefully I get there soon. Yeah, it looks like I was wrong. So that nice little frontage road ended. So now I'm kind of on a, uh, I wouldn't call it a highway. It's just a really, really quick road. Cars are moving fast, so just gotta give myself some, some distance. Uh, yeah, so I just have to put up with this traffic. So I made it to Belen. And um, yeah, not the best cycling town. Just a lot of traffic, not a lot of shoulder. Kind of whatever, to be honest. But yeah, I'm uh, definitely ready to get to that train station, need some food. Getting hungry. Yeah, so I uh, finally made it to Berlin, got to the train station, finally here, eating some, uh, I think this is some leftovers from lunch, it was a taco, beans, and potatoes, it was pretty good. Bike made it in one piece, nothing rattled off, it did freaking excellent, cargo stayed intact, purple tires are fresh as ever, and yeah, just kind of waiting out at this train station right now got about an hour before it before it heads out oh there's like a restaurant right behind here so i might stop by and get a beer or something it is getting a little bit cold but it's really not too terrible i just kind of feel like my body heat lowering again but yeah finally made it super happy kind of a long ride didn't take too many stops after um Isleta because I just didn't know how long it's gonna take for take for me to get here But um, yeah, I got here with about an hour to kill which is uh, kind of perfect. It's kind of what I was planning on So yeah, just gonna chill for an hour. Maybe maybe get a beer or something But yeah stoked Yep, so we're going back to Santa Fe now it's pretty cool, I'm like the only person in this train park. But yeah, it was a good day, good ride. Um, ended up getting a beer at, um, I think it was called Hub City Brewery in Boland. Got a nice beer. Stood under one of those um, outdoor fireplace things for a little bit. It was pretty nice. But yeah, now just getting back to Santa Fe, I think it'll be like it's like an hour and a half or two hours to actually get there so i'm gonna be on the train for a while but uh hopefully it stays chill hopefully not too many people come in but yeah gonna keep it moving it's a little bit easier moving this time <laughs> <laughs> 